See you at the moon! Hey everybody! Hello. Hey guys! Maj live here with the Vasquez family and in today's video we're going to be reacting to a new video that came out from Marvel Entertainment. I guess it's a celebration of all the movies that have come out but also they're going to be announcing the new movies that are coming out and their titles, I guess mm. the more official titles. Um, the only, the kind of, the way we found out about this video is I saw the announcement on Instagram about the title for Captain America, not Captain, listen to me, Captain Marvel 2, which now is going to be officially called The Marvels, which is extremely exciting, and, and we can't wait to see that and Miss Marvel when it comes out in the fall. Um, but when I saw that, I realized, wait, where did this come from? So then did some digging and I found that there's a video with not only that, but a little bit of Eternals and, and other stuff. So mm -hmm. here we are. It's a three minute video, so we're just going to jump in and see what new stuff we see and, and news and then we'll talk about it after. Curious! But thank you for joining us today and we hope you enjoy our reaction. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now I'm being with people. It's the most incredible thing in the world. Stan Lee. Oh, this is nice. That world may change and evolve. But the one thing that will never change, we're all part of one big family. Yeah. The movie was so good. So good. So good. That man next to you, he's your brother. That woman over there, she's your sister. Our brother's lost her baby. That's right. Mary Poppins. <laughs> Poppins. On your left. Oh, oh man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. oh man, all the way to my list. Captain Marie. America now, man. Yes! Oh my god. Oh. To have Stan Merritt in all of it. Yes! Oh oh. 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 Let's go! Yes! Oh. 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 Yeah, man, let's go. Thank God we're getting more Marvel. Yeah, I do. So excited for that movie. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi, yeah. Oh. oh, man. September 3rd. Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh, it's Yo. Eternals! <laughs> oh, November so 5th. Dude, it looks beautiful. Doctor Strange, what was it? Doctor Strange next year. May 6th. Black Panda, Wakanda Forever. The Marvels. The Marvels. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Keep it going, keep it going. More, more. 2023? It's coming. It's coming, man. See you at the moon. Yes, dude, we're going back to the oh, movies. We're going back, and I love <laughs> that they've stayed so true to that, man. Um, it's like, it's like, it's like these TV shows have come out at the perfect time. It's like they, not that they knew COVID was coming, but it's so perfect, and it couldn't have worked better that these shows are what's helping build up for that. And it's just such a celebra oh. truly a celebration that these movies have made us connect in such a way. And connect with you guys. I mean, Infinity Wars was started it off really, truly, yeah. with this channel and this yep. connection with you guys. So it's just, 
it's surreal and it is it's so extremely exciting. Um, that's why I get like this because <laughs> I just remember, uh, you know, sitting down for this reaction thing that I was like, what are we doing? This is <laughs> weird. But I mean, the response we got speaks for itself. The attachment we've grown to sharing these moments with all of you. It's like now we can't. You know, it's, now we you can't are truly a part of our family experience movie going experience you've become a part of our journey and our motivation to do not just what we do here on our channel but every time that we get ready for a role we are we're so aware there is an audience out there that is looking for a wholesome approach to storytelling a, a family infused fury and passion mm -hmm. ah i just get so worked <laughs> up so just thank you. Thank you for your amazing support all along this way. And we're going to keep doing this for as long as we can. And this just reminded me of all of that. It just kind of all comes full circle. And But Marvel too, man, they've done such a great job. And I think yeah. they're going to keep doing a great job. And they've always honored that. I think what was so great about all of this, what was getting me so like, like just hearing Stan Lee talking and narrating yes. the whole thing. Because it's, I mean, it, just like Disney, he's the one... You know, alongside his his collaborators, and they were making those comics to kind of really kickstart this and this. Like none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for you know his his initial Spider Man and, and all that. So it's so so surreal to see, and, and we just so so excited. So we want to hear your thoughts. So much coming, man. Yeah, and I feel like um, all of the like Marvel fans, we form like a bond between all of us. I think the excitement is all mutual and we're all just so pumped about it and we ride this ride together um, with everyone that's excited about it as well. Um, just when we watch like our lives or we read your comments, like we know, we just feel like a bond yeah. over Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, so to see this future is, I don't yeah, even they're, think exciting. They're, they're, it's exciting word. Ahead. It's yeah. well, and to think that like, you know, we could feel at the end of Endgame like, oh man, this is the end of an era, but man, they have so much in store. And that's what they're showing us is look, that what we built is so great, <laughs> but here we are, you know, and it's it's that reaction in the theater that they were showing, that's what the heart of it is. Like mom, my mom's like you said, mom, yeah. everyone coming together and, and Stanley's words said it, you know, the the world changes, but it's still continues um, and I know it's gonna shift as far as getting a little darker or maybe a little bit more a new a new world kind of opening up yeah mm -hmm. but I think that's the pipe you feel when those those things open and all of these superheroes just kind of run out and you just <laughs> feel like everything's colliding together mm -hmm. and just coming together so to see it like continue and you see just more and more and more I just yeah, can't man, wait. That's that something that's beautiful yeah. about the, like the movies is that you all, you guys are like everyone in the theater is almost experiencing the same emotion. Yeah. yeah. So that's why there's something so beautiful about watching Avengers Endgame yeah. on the big was, screen with so many best, people around because one of the best all of our reactions ever. were mutual. Think, like everything yeah. was the same, and we, we were we, all so excited. Everybody in that theater felt like they were. I mean, at least I could feel <laughs> like we all felt like we knew each Family, other. Yeah. 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 That and it was, like, that and uh, I mean when you, when you watch Homecoming, I mean any Marvel movie, you, yes. you it's like you forget any, in, you forget any difference, you forget any border between peoples, and you just connect, man. That's the that's the beautiful thing about movies, and that's why we love it so much. That's why mm -hmm. we are embedded in the industry, and we're a part of it, and we're you know we're artists in it. But it's and like oh, and seeing Wakanda Forever as the official title for mm -hmm. Black Panther, like oh man, that movie. I know it's gonna be an emotional oh, yeah. roller coaster, yeah. but. You know, we heard that they're going to reshape that movie to kind of honor Chadwick Boseman, and that title is just perfect. Yeah, so, exactly. Better yeah. not pick the so better we title. can't, we cannot wait. And uh, and then we want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear which ones you're most excited for, uh, which which ones truly you, you are excited for. I mean, we're excited for all of them. As I'm sure you are, but which ones are you like you, you're counting down for because you just really connected those characters. Eternals looks beautiful. Oh, <laughs> oh, it was so fast. But yeah. I'm, I understand. I'm sure, look, I mean, Comic-Con coming out, I'm sure there's going to be a trailer coming out soon. Oh, yeah. Maybe sooner than Comic-Con, but yeah. just to think that Chloe Zhao is just doing that, it's, it's yeah. so great. And there's such a, I think it's a testament to, you know, the Marvel, Marvel stories that can be told. And mm -hmm. they're kind of really leaving a, um, a standard and they're constantly you know, challenging we, and, 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 yeah. Sorry, I was, things. Go ahead. I was just going to add to the, the Chloe comment the 
the effort that Marvel is taking to really embrace its artistic form in cinema. It's making its artistic footprint, if you will. Um, e even just watching, we were just watching the, um, how, what is it behind the scenes? The making Falcon of, thank Soldier, you, yep. the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Awesome. And and the the meticulous attention that is being taken into into consideration for telling this, this story, this continuation, we're just seeing that the filmmakers are, are getting far more intimately. They're, they're embracing, so like, you know, what makes cinema in film cinema Yes, is <laughs> that every filmmaker, every director, writer that goes into it is telling their story. And is, yep. there's a sense of vulnerability of there's so much of them poured into this one thing. Mm -hmm. They don't promote a movie with like knowing or hoping it does. I mean, they hope it does well, but there's no certainty that it will. Now, because of where they are, they feel they can take those challenges. And what made Falcon and the Winter Soldier so great, and same thing with WandaVision, is you had these directors, these people going into it, that had these deep connections to the projects, and they brought their visions to it individually. So, same universe, but we have these different lenses in which to see the same universe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we are going to see Chloe's, like, contemporary Western feel to Eternals, and maybe new things that we haven't seen before, ever, in... Marvel and then same thing with Falcon. I think that's what made that show right. so great is we had these extreme close-ups and these very like the shots which There's is such great. diverse um, Like ways of making a film and it's just shown throughout all of these movies like everyone right. every single show or movie is gonna have a different twist to it because you know maybe made by a different director or a different style so mm -hmm. It's just so cool to see all the diverse ways of filming a movie and, and a this, show. This show. was, I have a question. Um, this was just the films that are like for the theaters, right? Like films? Mm -hmm. Yes. Movies, so, yeah. Because they've really been talking movies. about the shows. They haven't so really we're still missing show. like what we didn't see here were all the shows that are coming to Disney. Yes. Plus, right? right. I mean, I, but this is like, like Loki. And right, yeah. But this is clearly to get us hyped about going back to going the play theaters. Because that's yes. what it's really about. Right. The and seeing the lineup of like what's coming is exciting. And Obviously, we're aware that other parts of the world see our channel. So if you're seeing this and going to the movies, it's just not looking like it's a safe thing to do this yeah. year. Trust us, we feel you and we will honor that. Um, we're still going to be as safe as we have to be. Um, right. And yeah, I think I think Marvel is aware of that as well. So the, it's been so difficult to str probably strategize how and when to take this kind of a tone. Um, but I certainly hope that everyone all around the globe is going to continue yeah. to do what they have to do so that they can make it to the movie safely and enjoy this. Um, yeah, but we do have to press on as, as, as a globe to, to stay, you know, infused and motivated to make it to the movies, to be a part of this Mar Marvel Cinematic Universe, if you can be. So we are obviously aware of that. Um, yeah, right. So... You know, well, you guys are in our prayers. If you guys can't get to movies and we hope movies, you know, the state of the world and on your side of the world that you're in, that it gets better so that, you know, you can't experience that again with the people you love and with, you know, people around you. So, yeah. um, we're continually praying as well because, you know, things always shift and change. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're trying to stay motivated and excited for the current situation we're in right now and trying to be optimistic about the future, trying to kind of find ways to find some kind of normal again mm -hmm. um, and I know for us the blessing of productions being back up again mm -hmm. um, work coming back for a family like us like we desperately needed the film industry to pick up and move and start going yep. because we depend on that so the fact that Marvel's moving and, and making productions that just means other companies are doing the same and and it's a light you know a light at the yep. end of this dark tunnel that has been COVID. Um, so we're hopeful, prayerful, and we are very appreciative of your support. Mm -hmm. And we will keep you know, sharing our thoughts, whether we go back to the, oh, we will, but when we do go back to the movies, mm -hmm. to bring you guys along with us, as we always do, and we are still planning to do those, you know, when the new TV shows come out, and to share our thoughts on each episode. So I think overall, just thank you for being a part of this awesome ride, and I think, you know, it's, so so exciting and I think mm -hmm. what's mostly exciting is what my dad you know was getting emotional for in the beginning was the sense of now we have this community that we get to share this with you know yeah. that you know YouTube is it's it's been your reactions have evolved in a way where now we can bring you guys along and 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 COVID in a way has birthed a new way to share these experiences mm -hmm. okay. but nothing can deny the fact that 
going to the movies and sitting alongside yeah. people is magical. Magical, man. Absolutely so, magical. So thank you yeah. so much for joining us today for our reaction to the celebration of Marvel movies. We want to hear your thoughts, so please. Definitely. And we also, sorry, I just want to add this. If you've been with us since Infinity War trailer reaction and you've watched these guys grow up, and yeah. you've watched this just kind of evolve into what we are. Please let us know in the comments below. We would love to know. Hey, I've been here since the beginning. Yeah. Man. That would be really That'd special be for really us because cool. then we would love to do a shout out either on a live or our next video. Let us know. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for all of you guys that have stuck with us since the beginning. And if you guys want to check out more magical content and help support us, you guys can check out our Patreon and the link in the description and with the link that shows up at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, to see more Imaginative reactions, reviews, and we'll respond quicker to your recommendations for trailers you want us to watch, movies or videos, music videos, whatever it is, we can get your recommendations on there quicker and directly. And you have a more personal connection and, and, and you know reach out to us and we can reach back to you to connect with you. So we have a lot of Indian trailers on there and, and a lot of other stuff so that you guys can check out. So if you want to check that out, link in the description. And with that, just go out there, spread your light, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.